Here I go again on my own, going down the Eden road I've never known. We're gonna play as Eden. Uh, we tried this last time, failed miserably. Looks like we're starting with a modded item though in Model Rocket. Good rate of fire. Crappy damage though. Here's your seed, YGB249 JM. Last episode, real freaking trash to be honest with you. Uh, an absolutely horrible start. You know, getting marked is never exactly the best way to start a run. Uh, and hopefully, we get better stuff on this one. You know what? We lucked out. We won the Eden Lottery. We start with three red hearts. That's a pretty good deal, in all honesty. And I use the word deal because, essentially, we're going to hope to use all those hearts in a good old deal here on the next floor. Uh, but this should be a good run. I'm already loving. It's like we're doing a model rocket. Uh mod spotlight how can you be mad any of you that are like oh modded road to a million percent it's kind of boring you never use modded items what do you call this right now buddy i see a modded item i don't know about you but i'm feeling 22 i don't know if this is good or not it seems trash i'm gonna be honest with you uh we did lose our great rate of fire we did basically duplicate our damage and by duplicate, I mean double, which is exactly what it does. So if it didn't do that, I would have been a little bit alarmed in all honesty. Who knows how this is going to go? I see it going okay right now. But there's a lot of things that can still happen on this run. Uh, if this is the only thing that ever occurs, we never get a tears up. We never get a shot speed up. Uh, we never get a damage up. I mean, obviously this run's going to be trash, but we're assuming that crap like that don't happen in this game. We're assuming that crap like that uh, actually legitimately never occurs, and we instead do continue to get increases in our stats the entire rest of the game. That's usually how it works, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you know what? That is pretty much exactly what we needed. Plus .03 shot speed. Didn't do much more, but we do have a tier rate, uh, and that's good enough for me. Let's head on down. This is a good run already. I can feel it. Calling in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. And I've been waiting on this moment for all my life, uh, but it's all really dependent. Will this moment be okay? It's dependent on one thing. You see that 100% in the bottom left? It's got to stay at 100%. You see that uh, yellow blue thing up in the top left corner? We have to keep that. If we do that, every little thing's probably going to be all right. Uh, unless we fight Krampus on the first floor and then... Obviously, we're going to have a small dilemma going on here, but we're assuming that Krampus ain't going to come on the first floor. If he does, I mean, frankly, screw the man slash thing. Is Krampus a man or a woman? Or is he an it? You know, is he it? Speaking of it, uh, it got phenomenal reviews from what I've seen. It's a real creepy movie. For those of you that don't know what it is, I mean, frankly, you should probably just stay away for now. Cry me a river. I feel like I've said that, like numerous times in my life so our tears cry rivers okay works for me uh it is a movie about a clown it's not about a clown per se uh, it's about a being called it uh and it will transform into your worst nightmares essentially and then it tries to eat children so of course the movie then consists of a bunch of children and it tries to eat them so, you probably don't want to watch it if you have a fear of clowns, because uh, he basically takes shape as a clown the entire time. His name is also Pennywise, if you do care about his name, but I highly doubt you do. Unless you're a huge Stephen King fan and a huge It fan, and then you're going to tell me in the comments, Ooh, I saw It. I'm seven years old. I saw It. It's not even that bad, Tyler. I'm not a big horror movie person. Like, call me a little puss puss. I don't care. I mean, I just unlocked the game, kid. That's cool. Uh, I, I, I don't... I have zero interest in most horror movies. I've seen some. Now, there's some horror movies that are pretty good. Uh, I, I prefer horror movies that are more like psychological thrillers of stuff that can actually happen, which I know is complete opposite, really. Explosive tears, okay. Uh, I know that seems a little opposite because then that kind of crap can actually happen. But I don't care for the whole, like... 
Oh, uh, okay, so this man and this woman meet, and then the man starts acting a little weird, and then he invites her over for dinner, and then, oh no, all of the lights went out in the house, and then, oh no, the baby starts walking on walls. Like, okay, we don't... Nobody wants to watch that. I'm talking to you, Paranormal Activity. Those movies are really bad, by the way. Don't ever watch those. How they ever got funding for, like, Paranormal Activity 4, 5, 6, however many they've made is beyond freaking me, because those movies are real horrible. Uh, but even stuff like The Exorcist, no interest whatsoever. I'm going to be honest, the last horror movie that I saw, uh, which was like not even a horror movie, was House at the End of the Street. Uh, and that was starring Jennifer Lawrence, which was probably like the main reason to go see it, was just Jennifer Lawrence. She's hot, is what I'm getting at. But uh, other than that, not a big horror movie person. We unlocked Steven. We also unlocked another Tears Up, which is going to be beautiful in all honesty. And then our deal with the devil contains two things we're going to take. Life is looking up for us, honestly. We do want to check and make sure there's not uh, a fantastic item chilling in our boss trap room right here. There usually isn't, but holy crap, there could be. You want to give me a uh, cricket's head to start the day? You don't. Instead, you want to give me the magician, which I'm going to be honest with you. Not really high on my I care about this list. So, that's okay though. We this is a good floor. Very good floor. We're building a run for ourselves. Uh, there's a lot of things that we still need on this run. Such as Vibrant Bulb. I mean, this, this honestly, we're starting to reach a point of stupidity for the first floor of the game. This is so good right now. Vibrant Bulb is an absolutely fantastic addition to the run. There's really never a time where Vibrant Bulb is bad. It's usually just always good. And this is definitely one of those times. We're, we're making a run. It's a good run. We got a uh, little horn plushie. He's pretty cute. You know, our rate of fire is, despite taking Eve's Mascara, looking real freaking nice for us. And it's going to be doubling all of our damage uh, as time goes on here. Which is super sick and fantastic for all members of this party involved. And overall, I'm just... This is the Eden run that we we didn't deserve, but we needed it. Which I know is not normally how that goes, but... Isaac's apple, gravity up. I don't really know what that did, to be honest with you. I don't... I don't understand... There's a 15 cent nothing right here? I kind of want to buy nothing for 15 cents. I don't know what gravity up does. I'm sure we will figure this out shortly. To me right now, it just seems to be giving me an all stats down because we lose Vibrant Bulb. But, I mean, I would like to figure out what this item does. I don't want to search it because that's boring and lame. I want to figure it out. But, uh... Definitely a little bit confused by it. So that's Vibrant Bulb doing its thing right now. Moon Rock. I'm going to be honest with you. There's not a whole lot of trinkets that are going to be better than Vibrant Bulb to begin with. Okay, Gravity Up. Yo, Little Horn is dope. Uh, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I have no idea what this item's doing. If it's amazing, and I'm passing it up, uh, then screw me, I guess. Uh, and I'm in the wrong, and you can fire me and shoot me and do everything you want to me. That came out a little sexual, but you can't do everything you want to me, but you can shoot me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to stick with the active item that I know, and that the active item that is okay. And then we're going to come in here. And then we're going to enjoy this man right here. We don't want to spend too, too much uh, of our hard-earned HP on him. But if we are going to spend that much, beautiful speed upgrade. Honestly, a fantastic addition to this game. Luck up, also fantastic. Uh, Yara rune, also fantastic. I know we're sitting in a uh, dangerous spot right now. And that dangerous spot is called, Tyler, you have no HP? You act like I don't see this. Don't worry, I got that on lock. Uh, we're going to take care of it here. 
Eventually? Yo, you're annoying. I don't like you. You're one of the new enemies that scares me. There is a rock infinitely uh, dying in that room. There's more of these guys. Hello. Do not collide unless you're going to kill each other. Okay, we're good. I'm starting to get to that uh, on edge point of the run where I'm like, you know, we could die any second here. It just kind of came into my head that this is something that can occur to me. I think taking that red heart is acceptable. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head is not acceptable. It's actually trash. We're looking for the damn item room, which we know is going to be around here somewhere. Oh, crap. This is the lose your devil deal chance room. Which is why you pop uh, your active item that slows down enemies like the dummy that you should have done uh, seconds before. Hello. Goodbye. And then while you're at it, would you like to hello again? I said, would you like to? Hello again. Thank you very much. Okay, we want the stat increases right now. Do not get rid of your active item right now. You want stat increases. You also want a spirit heart, please. Thank you so much. Okay, we're back on track here. Uh, we get sticky ball tar, which I'm going to be honest with you. Pretty trash, uh, but we'll, we'll survive for right now. Bombs are key. Relatively useless. In the grand scheme of things. Let's go fight the boss. Uh, there's nothing else to see here. Just a uh, normal happy life. That we have to go live somewhere else right now. So we're going to go do that. If you can hear anything right now uh, in the recording. That might be some guys like mowing the lawn outside. It's like they have super shears going or something. It's so freaking loud. I don't, I'm looking at my mic pickup right now. I don't see it picking up on the mic. But if it is, like, I'm, I'm very sorry. It should be over soon. It's like they're vacuuming the grass is what it sounds like right now. And my lord, it's a little frustrating. But that's okay. Yeah, it's totally picking up on the mic. Uh, hopefully Isaac's sound is uh, not doing anything there. I don't understand. There's some tools for gardening and crap like that, that I just don't understand. Do you really need some, like, high-powered vacuum shears or something like that to do your job correctly? Because the answer is no, you don't. We're actually at the tears cap right now. That's a little interesting. I don't know who you are. Infested, baby. He just spawns... He spawns spiders. That's so good. Are we gonna play this guy? Damn straight we're gonna play this guy. He's got a growth hormones with my name on it. And if he doesn't pop it out, I mean, I'm just going to be disappointed is all. Growth hormones. Growth hormones. That's nothing. Chalice of blood. You're missing a texture, Chalice of blood. That's okay. Verp gave me bombs or key. We don't care. I'm drowsy. We also don't care. Uh, I don't want this chalice of blood right now because I'm a little bit scared of it. I don't want it to actually just crash my game. So we're going to head on down. It looks like some of the Alpha Birth items are having some uh, disappearing textures. That must have been what the invisible shop item was as well. And butt bombs intrigues me, to be fair. Using the Yara rune in here also intrigues me. I think I'm going to do it. I know it's a very weak Yara play, but... You gotta understand, sometimes you gotta do things in life like that. And accept the fact that you're not always going to get the greatest year of play on the planet. And sometimes you just have to do the thing that's gonna extend your run. And in this case, extending my run meant... I'm scared. What in the world is going on in this room? Uh, besides that guy that is shooting bombs, you little dummy. Why you gotta be like that? Two keys and a bomb? Sounds like a bad Dr. Seuss book. This run is fine. Uh, it started off amazing. It slowed down a little bit. Uh, and that doesn't mean that we're screwed. It just means that we, we still have stuff we need on this run. The fact that we got a tiers upgrade and then we no longer uh, can get any more tiers upgrades. Like we're at the tiers cap right now. That alarms me a little bit. Uh, I would love to have... A higher tier stat. And obviously we have tier to lay downs that can help us out. Uh, but... 
the chance of getting those is not necessarily high. So I'm a little bit afraid that this is going to be what our run looks like for the majority of the rest of the time here spent on Earth. And our damage is really good, and every damage upgrade is a very large damage upgrade due to Eve's Mascara. That's the reason we took it. But, your boy's still a little afraid. Chaos is an interesting pull here. I would like Chaos. Chaos is one of those items that makes the world go round. And this is one of those times where you pray for the super secret room as well. Nope. But we will get a spirit heart out of this. Two bombs for three cents and a spirit heart. It's not a great trade, but it's a trade nonetheless. Uh, and a trade I'm happy to take nine out of ten times. I don't know what that item does, so I'm going to take chaos. Uh, two bombs back. This is now going to make our item rooms, our boss rooms, our freaking the devil rooms. Everything's going to be a little funky on this run. Which I'm okay with. If you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. If you're not okay with it, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still okay with it. But I'll pretend to not be for your sake. Here's our item room. I'm interested to see what we get here. You know, I can't deny it'd be dope to pull some awesome uh, devil deal or angel deal item from here. You know, how sick would it be to get Sacred Heart right now on this run? Or Light Shot or something like that? We get this, which is Abyss. This is the one where occasionally it throws the Abyss shot, uh, and then that sucks in enemies. Am I right or am I wrong? I believe I'm right. It is a Devil Deal item, I believe. So at least we know Chaos is doing his job. We've got some, uh, got some annoying friends attached to us right now at the hip. I'd like it if he continued to, uh... Stop showing up or seized to continue showing up would be the better way of saying that sentence. Look, I'm not a grammar major. I'm no English major. I'm here so I, you don't get hacked and I'm here for your entertainment. But that's beside the point. That's the other job, you know. Okay, Forsaken. Let's do this thing. It's going to be an easy uh, fight. I do hate the fact... I, we should get rid of Vibrant, or not Vibrant Bulb. We should not pop our active item. We get a massive uh, damage down. Mom's Eye's dope. Devil Deal containing this crap is just strange. Let's go for it. What in the absolute freaking hell is this? We have freaking Dive Bomb tears. I'm in love. Let's head on down. Uh, this run's going to get strange real quick. Not like it isn't strange enough already. We have, uh, the Dive Bomb Water Balloon. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is horrible. Like, we're never going to deal damage to enemies. It's incredibly difficult to aim this. We also occasionally fire out two in, like, either direction because of Mom's Eye. I'm never gonna hit an enemy with this. It's just, uh, it's a lost cause. I, I can't aim this. Our rate of fire is so bad now. And I can't aim this. I'm not going to say we're going to get rid of Water Balloon. But. We might have to get rid of Water Balloon. Like, we're going to be in every room. Forever. For the rest of our eternity. I... I, I Isaac never fails to amaze me, in all honesty. We're slowly going to reach that point where the door is going to open because it thinks that we're stuck in a room. This is ridiculous. Yo. You need to die, though. We somehow killed one of them? Little Horn is doing all of our damage. This is how you know that our life is sad right now. Come on. Nope. Going on a uh, minute 512 in this room. What in the world even is life anymore? Uh, that one should have gotten them. Are you kidding me? What is this horse hockey right now? You guys are seeing what I'm seeing, right? I'm seeing 
Oh, we got him. Finally. And then get snapped back to reality. Opter goes uh, doing this again. I mean, when it actually connects, not nah, horrible. It's the whole getting it to connect thing that's real horrible. I mean, this run's bad. I, uh, I'm gonna just come right out and say it. I love both of these mods with a passion. This is the worst synergy ever. It's almost like they put this in as a legitimate synergy. But it is... It is painful. Now, the past couple rooms haven't been too bad. The Wazoobs made this feel like I'm my run's over. As rooms like this, it's going to be fine. Uh, and it's going to be, honestly, like, pretty good. Because it's nice having them split all over. You know, that's really good. And that's, that's, that's water balloon for you. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This run just got, like, seven times more interesting. Not ten, just seven. Because it's not really interesting. It might be, like, painfully horrible to watch, in all honesty. We're going to at least keep this until our next item room. Uh, in the hopes of possibly getting an item that just overwrites this. And we're allowed to uh, move on with our day. I mean, we do have an item room right here. Water Balloon has a lot of synergies. How many are good? That's a good question. Water Balloon as a whole can sometimes be considered not the best. Okay, the guy's just chilling over there. It's like the landing one does no damage. Book of Ruth. I mean, this is better than uh, Spider Butt right now. We've got BFF active. If we get any red hearts, it's not a bad way to spend them. Book of Ruth. Yara. And let's just do that again. Eight black hearts is a decent way to use Yara runes. Just throwing it out there. Any dreams of boss rush or hush? I mean, one, any dreams of doing hush that you had? Uh, screw that. If I make it to the hush fight, this is not a hush run. This is a Tyler wants to commit Harry Carry run. Which are usually not the best hush runs. Now, I know that you could convince me, Oh, Tyler, you have a chance of getting... Uh, items that could fix this. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Let me hop right on that one. Because there's no way in hell it would just make it worse. It's only going to make it better. I got you. We have to do the big room. I was trying to avoid it. Such a weird run. <laughs> like, how do, you, how do you work with this, in all honesty? No. Never. Good talk, though. Uh, on the bright side, Mr. Brightside, I've been coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. But no, we, we, we do have boss rush done. So we don't need to do boss rush. And that's a good thing because we're not freaking making it there. You also have no idea how tempting it is to simply, uh, simply bomb out of this room. But we all know that's not the right move. Plus, the sound this is making is so oddly disturbing, too. Because the game don't know how to process this many rockets all at one time. And I haven't even really mentioned the lag. Because the lag's a little bit unique as well. But, you know, that's okay. What in the hell, dude? I don't know whether to call this, like, the stupidest synergy in the game. The best synergy in the game. It's not the best. I kind of want Brimstone, though. Because do you know what that would look like right now to have Brimstone? It'd be something. As for damn certainty. And we want to go to the shop because the shop contains any item in the game. And any possible form of uh, anything in terms of an increase of damage, stats, freaking I don't even care what. Just give me a better run. It'd be good. Of course this room had to not have the shop in it. Do you think the shop's going to be up or uh, to the right? I think it's going to be up. Life is always uh, linear. Said literally no mathematician or anything else ever. Life is not linear, folks. Most life is quadratic. 
Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. But there's a lot of things in life that are quadratic. There's a lot that are linear. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to even really mention the fact that uh, we were wrong here. You know what? Uh, th this is a fine room and all. I'd like to get the hell out of here. Shot, please. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful. He should be able to knock him out. Give me something good. Speedball is good enough. I will bomb the donation machine for this. It's a shot speed upgrade. It's important. Don't say a word to me. You know it is. We also have enough to buy this card, which I am going to do. The card is Ace of Clubs. That's not exactly phenomenal. Well, uh, what do you do here, huh? You pray to God you get a good, you know, boss item to start. Then you pray to God you get a good deal with the devil, but the deal with the devil is any item in the game, so you can't really bank on that doing jack all right now. Basically, we pray to God that we get lucky. And we've gotten lucky in the past. Uh, l luck is a good Isaac skill to have. And I'm not talking about the attribute down there. I know we have 1.5 luck, but that relatively will mean nothing to us on this one. Okay, Trigger Twins. Let's get this show on the road. Thank you. Vortex Orb. going to be honest with you. That's like the last thing I need. Although, I'm going to be honest with you. I am intrigued. Oh, it does not like having it. Let's get ready for this. This is going to be horrible. What the freaking hell? Yeah, honestly, uh, as fun as that and the sound that it created was, I'm a pass. I'm a head down. Okay. What a weird run. A one weird, weird run. We need to find our item room. We need to find, uh, I mean, we need to find everything. And the faster we find it, the happier I'm going to be, in all honesty. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Tyler, what are you talking about? This is the greatest run of all time. Uh, apparently, my luck with Eden runs. My luck is never good. My luck has uh, run cold. My memory has just been sold. My angel's also the centerfold, but we could use our black cards to deal damage, but you know how much I advise against that. That's not a good idea. Just, uh... You know, fire shots everywhere. See what happens. This is one of those runs that uh, you just get confused about. I also, we have to finish this in the next 20 minutes. Which I know sounds like a ton of time. Uh, as the video's only been rolling for... Uh, it's already been rolling for 28 minutes. Jesus Christ. Uh, I need to finish this because I need to go drop off Ana for class. I, I sat down and I was like, oh, you know... 50 minutes, that's plenty for an Isaac run. You know, you get a couple of those rare ones that last forever, but a modded road? Uh, I don't need to go to the chest. This should be easy. Uh-huh. Say that to the man in the back. Now, we do have a small chance of this being a full run reroll. If it is, praise Allah. Oh, it was so close too. We cry a little every time. Uh, okay, pop this. Pop this. We got Bob's brain from that. Also, there's a weird bug that stops us from having BFF if we uh, get rid of the Book of Ruth for like a second. So I'm just spawning it back in uh, as we should rightfully have it. That's how the mod works. Is when you have Book of Ruth, you have BFF. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Bob's brain's actually an amazing get for us. Because this is going to allow us to deal a lot of damage that we frankly just weren't dealing before. And if you disagree, uh, your opinion don't matter right now, buddy. Seriously, uh, your opinion just simply does not matter. I also know that we're going to miss an item room here. As long as uh, we don't find it on the way here. I'm not backtracking through this floor to find it. We're just going to go. Because, frankly, an item room ain't saving this run. Uh, but having HP to fight mom and do deals and stuff like that, much more important to me. So, yeah. 
Though then again, we also are going to skip out on the shop by doing so. It's, it's a... This is one of those times where, uh, and people could go a multitude of different ways. I'm going more for the, I don't want to kill you guys of boredom. And I know that most of you, you know, you're here for commentary. And sometimes I provide that in ways that you find hysterical, and I otherwise look at you and go, you know, I'm just a man. I'm also just a kid, and life is a nightmare, but also beside the point. Uh, the chest, I am intrigued with. We also killed that man. In you're kidding me, right? Uh, well... Thank you. One half red heart. It's good use of my time. I am going to use keys here. If this is Cricket's head, we celebrate. Okay, good talk. Troll bomb, not the best. I don't even know what this run is anymore. This is also a trash room. I'm just throwing it out there. You know, it's a trash room and I hate it. I would like it if he died. Cool, let's go fight mom. This has never been a bad idea before. Hell yeah, damage. Bob's brain landed. We feel it. Bob's brain was a huge pickup. I know a lot of people, you know, thought I was lying when I said it. Bob's brain's a huge pickup on this run. It legitimately allows us to, uh... Do some wild, wacky stuff here. In terms of damage. Might actually get the MVP from me if we win this run. It still juries out on me because the womb's going to be real freaking hard. God knows we're not making it to hush at this point. This run is past the hush due date. All we need is Bob's brain to land. There we go. Mom's bottle of pills. And by that I mean Mom's coin purse. Pretty bad. Double power pill is okay. I'm drowsy is fine. We take power pill down, then we just head down. I don't even know what this run is. That's okay. Uh, Womb XL. Greatest words I've seen today, in all honesty. One less floor I have to do. Very happy about that. Honestly, absolutely thrilled. And this is... Happy, fine, and beautiful. Awesome. If it's not up that we're going in, and if it's not up the movie featuring, uh, you know, this talking dog and all that crap, uh, then screw me, in all honesty. Obviously, we'll have to backtrack, and obviously I'll cry a little bit inside, but that's okay. I will say right now, I wanted to get rid of this synergy ages ago. I haven't done it because I knew a lot of people would get mad at me. I know there's some of you that are enjoying my suffering. To those, I say, you know, screw you, first of all. But to those, I also say, why? Why, one, would you do this to me? Why, two, are you the kind of person that you are? Okay. It's like, the damage also isn't... If the damage was amazing, this would be a moot point. Because then you fire one of these, and if you connect with it, it kills. The problem is, the damage isn't amazing either. So there's times where you shoot a shot, it's still trash. Now that's not the way to do things, right? Transcendence. I mean, that's actually pretty good, because we get flight. But it's also just trash, because it's transcendence. I'm enjoying some of these rooms. Of course this wasn't the right way. Uh, why would it be? Double spirit heart. Uh, well... I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I was tempted right there. I'm still tempted. Do as I say, not as I do, kids. This is a dumb idea. We could do the dark room right now. We have a 100% chance to deal with the angel. I'm trying to swing getting an item from this. And you should realize that this most likely will never happen, except for when we get Guppy's head. Okay. I don't know why we slowed down to a snail's pace. I'm going to stick with Book of Ruth. I was going to stick with, uh... We have to give ourselves BFF again. I was going to stick with, uh... 
Guppy's head, as that's damage that we know and we love. But here's the issue with Guppy's head. Okay, first of all, it was lagging the game. Second of all, Bob's brain plus BFFs is really, really powerful. Like, I know that you're sitting here going, Tyler, are we really talking about Bob's brain as being the reason why you take a certain item? Yes, honestly. We have the ability to basically two-shot bosses with Bob's brain. You know, two Bob's brain shots is a boss fight over with. Screw... I, we don't even need to be in this room. Get me the hell out of this crap. Of course, we completed the room shortly after. Uh, our HP is low. My memory has just been sold. My angel is a centerfold. Uh, three and a half hearts is not where you want to be. Ever. Let alone on this run. We're also in a spot where we're screwed. Uh, I also have an alarm going off. So give me one hot second here. I gotta turn that off. That's my alarm saying, you know, hey Tyler, you need to actually leave. We're gonna hope to God that we get that uh, figured out in the next 10 minutes. This run has lasted significantly longer than it should have. And God knows I really do not want to uh, have to make a cut in this video. Of course, I also have no bombs now. Which means I cannot bypass crappy rooms like this. We're actually just going to die. What the hell, dude? I, I am the unluckiest man when it comes to modded road to a million percent Eden runs. And there's a lot of people that'll be like, Oh, Tyler, you shouldn't have taken insert... <laughs> you shouldn't have taken insert item here. What the hell would you would have done, huh? Jesus lordy. One like equals one prayer for the frickin' Road to a Million Eden runs. By golly gee, I'm unhappy. If you enjoyed, though, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for another Eden run. Bye!